The spleen is located in the upper left quadrant of the abdomen inferior of the diaphragm and protected in the posterior by the rib cage. It is a small, highly vascularized organ that serves as a secondary lymphoid organ comprised of sections of red and white pulp. A specialized vascular pattern exists within the spleen, consistent with its function of immune surveillance of bloodborne antigens. First, as blood enters the spleen through the splenic artery, it travels through an increasingly tightening network of arteries. Some of the smallest arteries are known as central arteries that pass through lymphatic nodules. Clusters of immunocompetent cells organized as white pulp. Central arteries give rise to branches of smaller order follicular arteries. A majority of these arteries flow directly into venous sinuses, but some are open-ended to allow blood to flow between the artery and venous sinuses across lymphoreticular tissue known as the red pulp. From a distance, the red pulp appears to be nothing more than highly vascular tissue, but the arteries that flow through the red pulp often terminate and allow blood to flow through the reticular meshwork known as the cords of Billroth. The cords of Billroth are surrounded by reticular fibers, reticular cells, and immunocompetent cells. As blood flows through this meshwork, old or misshapen red blood cells and other macromolecular antigens become trapped, where they are eventually phagocytosed by macrophages. The rest of the blood flows across the cords and into the venous sinuses. From there, the venous sinuses coalesce into progressively larger order veins that lead to the splenic vein. Blood exits the spleen, where it continues into the hepatic portal system of veins, providing input to the liver.